Welcome to Japan in winter. This is a paradise for all skiers and snowboarders and we're going to take you along today to show you what it's all about. This is Akita Prefecture. Let's hit the slopes. Woo! <laughs> this time we'll be exploring the beautiful area of northern Japan, specifically Akita Prefecture, located right below Hokkaido. Akita sees huge snowfall every winter, making it the ideal snowy getaway for powder hounds. The snow season generally starts in mid-December and lasts until early April. Although it's a little far, Akita is easily accessible from Tokyo via a direct Shinkansen that just takes under three hours to Tazawako Station, which is situated amongst many of Akita's best ski resorts. If you're planning on traveling across Akita to go to ski resorts, we recommend renting a car because it's so much more convenient to travel in. Yeah, and there's one right here, right next to Tazawako Station. Let's go. Perfect. One of the most popular and reliable options for a car in Japan is Toyota Rent-A-Car. But remember that if you want to rent a car in Japan, you'll need an international driver's license. Alternatively, there are buses running every hour from Tazawako Station to the area's most popular ski resorts. Our first stop is just 20 minutes away from the station and we're headed to Tazawako Ski Resort. Over here, you can pick up a lift ticket and you've got a few different options you can buy a full day pass or you can get a five hour ticket or just once and it's only 4,800 for an entire day i feel like that's pretty reasonable yeah yeah and even if you just want to do one run 500 yen that's under five bucks and if you're 60 years or older like my dad it's pretty heavily discounted yeah 800 yen off and of course like if you're in primary school or like middle school, it's even cheaper. You can pay with cash or credit cards here. So let's get our tickets. See you soon. One day, one ticket will be two. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. At ski resorts here in Japan, you'll find main buildings where they have all sorts of things, including rental gear, which is very important. And that's where we're headed now because we don't have any of our stuff. Yeah, we got nothing. So let's check out some of the equipment. What have we got? Oh, we've got a lot of ski poles. Now I'll be using that because I'm need. skiing and you're, what is it, snowboarding? Snowboarding. Yeah. So I'm going to need some of the snowboards, some boots. Yeah, I need ski boots too. And of course, overseas, there might be some differences, but I'm curious to see, are the prices the same? Is it more expensive, cheaper? So let's have a look. Yeah, let's, let's have a look. So first off, we've got to register and write out a form. I think that's pretty typical. You've got to get like your height and all that kind of information, shoe size. It looks like you can sign up up to three people on one form. Even if we're doing skiing and snowboarding, it's on the same paper. And the forms actually had English on there. So that's a good start, English friendly. <laughs> Okay, for one day rental for two people, it's only 9,400, which is pretty reasonable. What do you think? Yeah, I feel like once converted into USC, that'd be pretty cheap. Yeah. <laughs> and luckily, there's not many people here, so no lines. That's the good thing when you come out to like smaller areas and remote places, you get instant service. Ski boots are always so difficult, so I'm hoping I can get this in the first round, you know. I think it's this. Got our gear. Got my skis, my poles. Got my board. And basically when you fill out the form, they'll ask you things like your height, your weight, um, and any kind of requirements that you'll have for yeah, the Yeah, for me it was if I stand regular or goofy. And yeah, height, weight, and then, this is what they gave me. Yeah, and here when you get skis, most of them were the same, but there are a few premium ones over there. So if you've got any experience, you can rent them for a little bit extra. But overall, like, they had enough for anyone wanting to hit the slopes. Yeah, also super nice quality. Got the North Face I know. boots and board. Yeah. Super cool. So I'm just ready, let's go. Yeah, I can't wait. Just got off the chairlift and we were greeted by the most insane view. Yeah, the lake is just right over there. Hopefully we can catch it on the way down. It's beautiful. It's honestly breathtaking. Yeah. Oh, and it kind of started snowing a little bit now, like, hello, welcome. And this is our first run of the day and it is completely empty. Completely empty. We've got the place to ourselves. Still got a bunch of powder. It looks so soft. Oh, look how fluffy this is. This is powdery goodness. Well, is it time to shred or what? Let's do it. Let's hit the slope. It's 
got it. It's got it. It is exhilarating. Yeah, it really is, but it feels great. And it doesn't hurt when you fall. It's so powdery. It's so soft. So damn soft. It's that Japan powder. We've done a few runs. I'm exhausted. As, as you can tell, we've done a few runs. <laughs> We're just lying here on literally powder. I just can't get over it. You don't get this back in Australia or Hawaii. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we don't have this in Hawaii at all. Ah, it's like actually, it's kind of frosty actually. It's in your eyelashes. But do you reckon it's time for lunch? Yeah, it's time for lunch. Yeah, let's ski down, shred some more. Oh, it's warm in here. <sighs> Finally, it's warm. <laughs> Ooh, lunch. What have we got? Ooh, what are you gonna get? Oh, there's so many options, but I've been eyeing the curry, so maybe this one. Oh, I saw a lot of people ordering curry earlier. I'm gonna go with the miso ramen. Solid choice. Yeah, nice and warm. Yeah, both of us getting hot foods. Yeah, and a beer. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's get it. In Japan, it's quite common to have a cafeteria style lunch area, and this is right at the base, so it's really convenient to access. And we have so many options. So let me take you over here. I'm personally in the mood for a curry, but if you want something else, they have ramen, they have like udon, like tendon, as well as some fried foods, a yakisoba. So there's something for everyone. It's mainly Japanese based though, but I'm starved, so let me order. We gotta grab a tray here. Sumimasen. And it looks like there's lots of different payment options. So you can use Suica, which is the travel pass card or your visa, or of course, cash. Got my food, it looks amazing. It smells so amazing because they like grilled the cheese. And I got myself a local beer to go with it. And here's our table. Hey Kai. Yo, look Ooh, what I got. Ramen. Looks good, huh? You got even a little man, nikuman. Yeah, I got the anman. Oh, anman. I like my sweets. You got a beer too. I did. What did you get? A dark lager and it's from Tazawako. Mine is also Taza Tazawako beer and it's Pilsner. Come by. Cheers. We skate a lot. We deserve a bit of a lunch break. Yeah, my body's ready. Yeah, time to dig in. Itadakimasu. Mmm. That hits. Mm, yeah. Nothing tastes better than like eating good food after working out. The cheese on this, because it's been like torched, it's so tasty. Yeah. Yeah, you have to have a bite I, as well. I, I definitely yep. want a bite of that after. You can have some of mine too. Yeah. Uh, I picked up an anman, mm. one of my favorite snacks. Let me just break this open. Ooh. Still steamy. They got the red beans full, like not mushed. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Another great thing is that if you haven't like experienced too much of Japan before, you can try so many like local dishes because if you go to like a westernized ski resort, it's all western food. True. Which might be more comfortable, but like put yourself out of your comfort zone and really embrace the Japanese style of like skiing. Yeah, they had all types of ramens, all types of curries, some tempura options. Mm -hmm. I find in Australia, the food options are usually like spaghetti, like bolognese, pizza, chips, but I actually kind of enjoy having like a bit more of a hearty meal with rice because it really fills you up and lets you, you know, feel satisfied for the rest of the day because you're burning so many calories out there. Um, yeah, so I enjoy it. Mm. Mm. Also, I feel like in America, you're not really allowed to drink in public, right? But in Japan, you know, I could hit the slopes with this if I wanted to. <sighs> but I won't. Right after lunch, we hit the slopes for a few more runs to burn off all those calories and then saw something really special. Look at that. Incredible. So worth it. I'm speechless, but I also can't stop talking about it. So I guess I'm not speechless. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is all the locals have been telling us when you ski here you can see the lake. And we're so lucky we did. There was a possibility yeah. we wouldn't because it was a little cloudy, but it's hey. It's been so snowy, like yeah. the past few hours, it suddenly just opened up. Honestly, <laughs> the day that we arrived in Akita, there wasn't a lot of snow, but today, as soon as we started skiing, from the morning, 
heaps of snow. Yeah. Like centimeters. It was on the news even, so so lucky. This is really just the, the cherry on top right here. It looks so close. I, I say we take a dip. In the lake? Yeah. Nah, on sand sounds better. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that does sound better. All right, see ya. Bye. <laughs> that was one of the craziest snow days we've ever had on the slopes. Thankfully, it's just a short ride away to our nice, warm, cozy hotel. And tonight we'll be staying at Tazawako Lake Resort and Onsen. All right, so now we are at the Tazawako Lake Resort and Onsen. And we're gonna be staying here for a couple of nights. Yeah, and it's 15 minutes away from where the skiing happens. Yeah, no, so it's super close. And I've heard our rooms are really nice, so should we check them out? Let's check them out. Yo, come on in. Welcome to the superior room. It's got Japanese and Western fusion style. This is the perfect place to relax after a long day because not only can you, you know, lie on the bed, we have a tatami space where we can like chill out, watch TV, and then admire the view. And they got this nice area where you can lounge, watch TV, have some coffee. So right now we're in the fusion room, but there's also fully Japanese rooms with like just tatami, as well as like a uh, futon style bed. Right, and they've got these big, beautiful shoji windows oh, that you can yeah. pull off, get a good view of the snow. Yeah, and then completely Western rooms. But I actually like the combination here. Quite yeah. a nice mix. Yeah, and there's also an onsen, which we'll be checking out later, with like a manga space. Ooh. And we're gonna have dinner. And manga breakfast, space. we're gonna relax because we're tired from skiing. Yeah, I'm we're excited tired. to see the manga space actually. Yeah, let's head there now. Let's do it. The manga room. Oh. Smells like manga room. Mm, smells like books. Oh, One Piece, the whole collection. Oh, no way, wait. And oh, that is all. This Kimitsu is my layover. room for sure. So if you're staying here, you can actually read any of these manga and there's a lot to choose from. Holy I think smokes. everything is in Japanese though, so you can practice your Nihongo skills. They have like up to current One Piece books. Wow. It's crazy. The manga collection is pretty impressive and the vibe in this room is so relaxing. You can just sit here and read for hours. If that's not your speed though, there is also an awesome entertainment room equipped with billiards, a dartboard, an air hockey table, and a whole mini arcade. When you come here, they have an onsen, and of course, that means yukata. There's a lot of different ones to choose from. Good variety. Yeah, there's a lot of nice designs. You can also see them against the wall here. And you're quite tall, so... <laughs> yeah, so... They have the LL size that goes up to 175 centimeters and taller. I picked up one of these. I'm 190, 6'3". It was perfect. I just love like so many designs to choose from. Colorful ones and also like classic simple ones. Yeah. I personally like to have a bit of color. So this Sakura one is my pick. What about you, Kai? I'm from Hawaii, so I went <laughs> with the floral. Very nice. Yeah. And you put these on before you go in the bath and then after, and you can wear these to dinner and breakfast. And they're all included in the price, so enjoy this typical Japanese attire. The hotel has two large bathing areas separated for men and women. Each room has several onsen of different depths and temperatures, which make it great for bringing your kids to. And of course, most importantly, they have an outdoor onsen. It's time for dinner. We're both starving after a long day of skiing and we're at the buffet located yeah. in the restaurant. I'm so hungry. Can't wait to see what they have. Ooh, yeah, this is all you can eat. So it's perfect if you've been out all day. What have I we got? I see some sushi already. Whoa. Wow. That's fresh. And there's a sushi chef just preparing it right behind us. Definitely going to eat a lot of that. Is that tempura? I think it is, yeah. And you can tell it was made fresh. Yeah. It looks crispy. We're getting in before all the other customers to film. So we get the first. First bite. First pickings. First yeah. Pickings. And we have a steak here. Oh. Mm. Yo. That we smells, deserve this. That yeah. smells amazing. Hold on. This is one of our favorites. Beef curry, which is a very Ooh. typical Japanese winter dish that you find at a lot of mm. ski resorts here. Yeah, so Ooh. they got freshly cooked rice, curry, oh, nakio, ginger. 
I'm so excited to dig in. I can't resist this sushi, it looks so fresh. And they've even got natomaki, which is the fermented soybeans. Get a generous serving here. Ooh. And they have fresh wasabi. I know there's a lot of good seafood here, but the Italian in me is screaming, get some pasta. Of course, I'm gonna need some juicy meatballs. That looks delicious. Okay, yeah, so much variety here, honestly. It's hard to even choose what to eat. Here's our dinner. There is so much food. Yeah, we <laughs> I don't went know wild. Where to start, yeah. Um, I'm gonna start with the sushi because it looked amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So fresh. Also, we've got some Akitaken Bijin sake. Oh, for beautiful people. If you didn't know Bijin, it was beautiful. For beautiful people and for people who want to get more beautiful. If you guys haven't heard, Akita. When you visit, a lot of Japanese people will tell you to look out for Akita Bijin. Yeah, my mom actually told me to look out for some <laughs> beautiful women on my trip here. Oh, yep. And my Japanese friends told me the same, so. Yeah. Ooh. It's smooth. a very smooth sake. Yeah. And it's a chilled one. Because you can get hot sake here. I like that. Mm. I'm feeling beautiful already. <laughs> Effects are already hitting. Let's keep eating. Yeah. Steak? Yeah, let's Steak? try. Okay. I can't believe they're grilling it in front of us at a buffet. Pretty fancy. Mmm. 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 too. <laughs> yeah. I feel like most times at hotels they'll like leave out the food, but here they just make it right. Yeah, in front continually. Of your like honestly, there are so many people, so this buffet is very popular. Like the moment they open the doors, like 30 people <laughs> walked yeah. in. <laughs> Yeah. Because there's not a lot of food options in the local area unless you have a car and you're willing to drive at night time. So right. having it all here and it's just in your hotel, you just come downstairs, is so convenient. Yeah. Especially at the ski resort. So highly recommend you guys do this. And then one other thing we both picked up was this soba, mm. which is called ske soba. And you got to put it into this like soup. I like that there's so many things you can try because I've never had this before. Also, I'm a huge fan of nameko, so... The little mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. Like your mask. Holy shit. Uma. 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 And there were a bunch of desserts as well. Yeah, I saw. Mm. They had like all kinds of tiramisu, lychee. Lychee? Yeah. Oh. I was surprised to see lychee here. And ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, and ice yeah. cream. Oh no, I'm drinking too fast. <gasps> Ah, make me beautiful. <laughs> the buffet selection on offer here is absolutely insane. And after a good night's sleep, we're back again for breakfast. We're in for another long day in the snow, so we're gonna need our energy. There's lots of different types of bread here. Little toast one, little bread roll and croissants. I'm gonna go for a little bread roll and you use this little toaster here. Oop, there it goes. They literally had so many options, and so if you're comfortable having Western food, you can go for that because there's yogurt, there's cornflakes, there's bread. But yeah. then you can also kind of like try natto or dashimaki tamago. Right, they had natto too. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I grabbed some. Oh, they have local specialties like Akita's kiritampo, and it's kind of like this mashed up rice inside this um, hot soup. So let's dig in. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. What a nice view behind us. Can't beat that. And we're dining in a tatami style room and it's really cute. I love this hotel where they have like options for all kinds of people like who want Japanese experience or just like a normal right. Western. Yeah, this is nice. Mm. Shishamo and coffee. I feel like on a day where you're going skiing, you really need to have a lot of nutritional like food, mm. and get energized. So you're probably doing the right thing. It's true, I got that protein. Yeah, because we're going to hit the slope soon. We're going to see you at another ski resort. Mm. After breakfast, we're headed off to Ani Ski Resort. Let's go. Located on Moriyoshi Mountain, this is a great resort for beginners with plenty of wide runs and tons of fresh powder to break your fall. Of course, they also provide all the same rental services as Tazawako Ski Resorts, and they have this beautiful Akita Inu called Hokuto. 
we're inside a gondola, which is a luxury because the resort yesterday did not have one. It did not, no. It did have the protective cover, the glass going up the chairlift, but this is a premium experience. So as you can see, we've got a very snow white view. <laughs> the weather outside is rough, but we're protected. But we're actually heading up here to see something extremely special and you'll have to keep watching to find out what it is. the trees and the snow. Yeah, it was a pleasant ride. Also, it is noticeably colder up here. Yeah, my toes are already feeling it. Shall we head out? Let's go. Let's go see some snow monsters. Woohoo! Oh my god. Hey guys, uh, we're covered head to toe in uh, warm gear. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm still, I'm Kai. That's Sarah. Hello everybody. And we got our shoes on. Special snowshoes which are really fun to walk in. Um, and here's the map. So we're going to be doing a bit of a five minute walk around this course like this. This is my first time doing anything of these snowshoes. So I'm very curious how it'll go. <laughs> same, yeah, I've never, I've only seen pictures of these on Google images. <laughs> yeah, same. So I can imagine us falling a bit. And we got poles for stability. So race you to the top. All right. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wow, check it out, our first snow monster. This. Isn't that one? That tree? Over there? Oh, that. Jenna? Kinda, huh? Oh. Let's go look up close. From around January till March, mysterious snow monsters are formed at the top of Mount Moriyoshi. After a 20 minute gondola ride up, the frost covered snow trees are only a five minute walk away from the station. We made it up a bit of a hill. It was pretty steep. Yeah, pretty steep, but the, snoo the snowshoes helped a lot. And um, this is the walking course. So this is the entrance. And we're greeted by one, a couple actually snow monsters. And we're gonna keep walking around because it's a big like loop. I'm gonna try to find one that looks like you. I'll find one that looks like you. All right, let's, let's go. Uh, this way, mate. Oh. <laughs> The course at the top of the mountain goes round in a loop and takes about 30 minutes to complete. There are literally hundreds of snow monsters scattered across the mountain top. Some of them you can even go inside and take a look. Are you cold? Just a little below freezing. <laughs> but check out these Juhyo snow monsters. There's three in Japan. And this is one of them. And they actually form naturally through yeah. the, the wind. And the ice. And it's just unbelievable that we're one of the few people that get to come out and see it. Because it's so remote. It takes a lot of effort and strength to it get here. It takes so much effort <laughs> to get here. But I will say, I think it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in my life. Taking a walk around, a lot of them do look like Godzilla. <laughs> the way that they're formed. But hey, this one kind of looks like you, Sarah. You think? Yeah. So is that my, my long lost sister? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? You're somewhere, you're over there. I'm that a fat blob in yeah. the distance. <laughs> <laughs> but we have had such an amazing time up here. Yeah. But it is kind of getting a little cold. Like I have some um, wind burn on my face, on my cheeks. My fingers have we lost are, feeling. We might be reaching our limit here. <laughs> we did spend about an hour looking around. Yes. But let's head back down. Yeah. Or what are you gonna do? You're gonna- I'm gonna go back in the gondola, but aren't you going for a little bit of a, a board, a ski? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. I'll meet you down there. Yeah, all right. All right. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, and I'm blasting. And snowboarding. Here in Akita. So if you guys want to check out Akita, look at the links down below and 
Let us know what your favorite part of this video was, and we hope to see you in a snowy part of Japan. Yeah, and thanks for having me. This was a lot of fun to be a part of. Yeah. I'm gonna make some snowballs. And we have another video coming out very soon, so make sure to check that out. Like, subscribe, and see you again. But wait, one last thing. One last. No. What's oh. this? What's the noise of the snow monsters of Akita? Three, <laughs> two, one. Rah! <laughs>